Can you jump out, please? Jump out, Harry. Oh. Are you kidding? In New York City. Sophie Parrish says she's still working on her personal style of music, but. No, Rauli, no. Bueno, lo voy a tener que hacer aquí, la, la seguridad. Into the window of a bus inside of an arena. The bus was carrying a group of UFC athletes and employees. Two degrees, that was my phone dropping on the floor. 42 degrees, <laughs> let's just, uh, it's a seven. Uh, 42. <laughs> so the system pulling away right now and the sunshine increasing and there is a dog behind me. <laughs> okay. Little did their neighbors know that in this quiet corner, this quite pretty little corner in the Kent countryside, at the cottage just over my shoulder is where... Uh, I saw a number of spinouts on 400, but drivers seem to be taking it uh, uh, carefully. And the good news is, of course, that a lot of people are just staying home this morning. Once stage one wraps up today, the athletes will rest and prepare for... And the Hazelden told us that he believes the issue was with a defective flux capacitator, though the NTSB wouldn't comment on any potential cause today. Happy birthday to Brian, Sam, Bev, um, Urin? Or how do you pronounce that? Uriah? I, I totally missed Uriah. that one. Uriah, Maggie, Joe, Doug, and Alexis. <laughs> Happy birthday to all of you. The last time the uh, Super Bowl came to this area, there was a variety of people that performed. Um, you had Tina Turner that did the like pregame show. You also had um, um, a couple other people like Ingles uh, Enrique, Enrique Iglesias. I got that right now. Enrique Iglesias. This isn't actually the play. Oh. Était malade ce soir. Il n'est donc pas présent sur la feuille de match. One of the worst offenders at the restaurant is the menu. I mean, think about how many people are touching these things. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. So many people touching this thing. And so little do you know that when you're ordering the pasta carbonara, listen, you're also ordering a whole bunch of germs. You need a hug. Sometimes. And a, yeah, and according to a new study, giving a hug may help a loved one more than you realize. That's right. You need a hug. It's homecoming weekend. You shouldn't need a hug. Bring it over here, man. You need a hug. Come on, man. I love you. I love you. Hold on. Okay, y'all. All right. We were talking to Captain Gio earlier. He said he's been out here for 20 years. He usually has his morning swim. Whoa. and we are taking him back in closer to the dock for safety. Uh, are you all right, Chris? I'm good. He is good. He is a professional and he is hanging on and we can tell the bosses that no electronics or cameras were injured in this live shot. John and Sherry and Nate, that's what happens out here live. Chris is all good though, I promise you that. Still some stubborn overcast here over the city. Look at this. <laughs> he's, he's totally checking out the camera, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm, this I'm, is so cool. Yeah. Like a pro. I might need a little more time for this weather segment to, just to, because we have a little visitor. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I made a friend. This is Reggie. Reggie is an 11 foot. Hi. Oh. Yeah, he's so nice. Look at him. Police say that she walked into the <laughs> Enterprise rent a car. An incident report says that while walked behind the counter, <laughs> she pulled down her pants and showed her backside. Can't make this stuff up, <laughs> folks. I'm, I'm sorry. I tell you what, if you want to read more about that full story, you want to get to the bottom of it, <laughs> go ahead. Get your phones out because text to win coming up. Just I have Megan's right here. What are you oh, gonna yeah, do? there you go. Text. <laughs> wow, Megan. <laughs> Would you like it. to know about no, the, no, no, the, no, the no, daddy no. Someone, saddle? Someone, it's a joke someone shared. All right. 
I, I think that's the text to win contest. Megan's right. gonna put you in the daddy saddle. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Again! <laughs> so, <okay. laughs> you need to stop. 49 days at sea. It's so young. I know. It's like that Tom Cruise movie or something. Right, right. Tom Hanks. Tom, Tom Hanks. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Same thing. Tom Cruise would have like, walked on water and caught a jet. Yeah, he had the soccer ball. Tom, yeah, Tom Hanks. Compared to Tom Hanks. Wilson, Wilson. It was a volleyball. Wilson! Yeah, I don't know. Volleyball. Volleyball. Get my cruises in those And your balls getting mixed uh, yeah. up. Six, six, six. Soccer ball, yeah, volleyball, morning. not that kind of balls. Emily. <laughs> Scene. This specific type of monkey, which I believe is called a mycock. <laughs> <laughs> Not what you said. <laughs> Why do I have to go right now? Why do you know? Oh, orcas first. <laughs> it's my god. It's not what you said. Rewind the tape. Oh my god. <laughs> Coffee. Oh, it is. Uh. <laughs> I can't do this. Uh, a little bit of snow on the grass. <laughs> it is breezy. Oh, why me? Why was I after that? Oh, goodness gracious. How you doing? I'm all right. What? I think. <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy, help me. Help us sister out. <laughs> at the National Western Stock Show. Today is Bison Hump Day. <laughs> Ranchers will meet ahead of the show to talk about ways to improve <laughs> Mitch is making me laugh. Ways to improve the bison population. Now some of the talk will be conservation. <laughs> Mitch. Some will talk new technology to manage the herds. This is all part of the Roaming to Success campaign that aims to increase bison population from <laughs> 400,000 to more than a million animals. I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm having a hard time this morning. It is 621, everybody, and Heather's morning. A head of hair going viral. <laughs> what? Oh, if only you could oh, have a big, my. big, healthy head of hair like that. This almost looks like my youngest it's stuff. It's a baby. <laughs> Girls Take a look hair. at this photo. This can't be, this has got to be a weave. This is She's Happy Hair, isn't it? <laughs> This, <laughs> this, this baby is just a few months old with more hair than some people will have in a light. I don't know if I oh, believe that this adorable. is real. This is a lace front. It's real. It's got to be a lace front. <laughs> <laughs> this is Remy Nobody Martin. Nobody puts a wig on their baby. Oh, these people <laughs> apparently did. Finally tonight, it seems Oscar nominees will be quite hungry for their swag bags at the Oscar ceremony this weekend. The nominees of the 90th Annual Academy Awards will be gifted with a free luxury swag bag. The contents this year are pretty sweet, including chocolate jewels, organic vegan lollipops, oranges, a wearable forearm water bottle, and a cookbook. The gift bag's price tag an estimated $100,000. That's a lot of oranges. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and chocolate jewels and... And probably a lot. I, I don't. I don't even stuff. know what uh, what an organic lollipop is. I don't. I'm not sure if that even sounds good. But 40, 45. I'm sorry. 40. It's laughing. 45 degrees on Thursday. We'll have 51 for Friday. Okay. It's going to be warm over the weekend. We're going to be near 60 on Saturday. It's some rain on Monday. <laughs> Help me, please. Oh, boy. <laughs> we got to find a recording of this one. It's going to be an all-timer. If you win that jackpot, what's the first thing you're going to get? <laughs> first thing I'm going to get? 
Uh, you can be honest with us, sir. Oh, I, I can be honest because we're in Nevada. It's legal. I'm going to have uh, find me a new wife. Okay. Always remember Taco Bell's all the road. We're just out here. Give remember it. I mean, I think it was the best Taco Bell in Montgomery. I can't, I can't eat here. I felt like I lost a family member. Well, I'm hoping we get closure tonight and we can move on to the next cause. But we're here supporting Taco Bell tonight, and that's what's important. I'm hurt. My feelings are hurt. I got to go all the way to Perry Hill to get some Taco Bell. Hurts my feelings. Baja Blast. Baja Blast. Baja Blast. Baja <laughs> Airlines are putting smaller bathrooms on planes to make more room for seats to try and make more money. <laughs> what is this video? <laughs> <laughs> they have had it. No more for the small bathrooms. They're all exiting. <laughs> They're evacuating as soon as possible. <laughs> that was the best that? video ever. <laughs> all right. Uh, the, the low temperature tonight, definitely not going to be 90 degrees. Wow, that would be a good trick, wouldn't it? 90 tonight. No, friends. It's going to be 30 tonight. The chance for precipitation will be 90%. If it's 90 tonight, you should really give me a call. If it's snowing in 90, just, just reach out. Call us in the weather office. We'd love to hear from you. 10 till 8. Let's get it over to Mr. Chuck Rhodes. He is Charlotte's most experienced traffic man. Oh, or we can get it over to Paige Failing, <laughs> who's enjoying a croissant and some coffee this morning. <laughs> it's an almond. Oh, thank you. Sorry. And I... can you try not to sound too disappointed when it cuts over to me? <laughs> Hold on. Let me get a little... <laughs> Let's get out to NBC 10's Tony Gugliotta. He's live from Attleboro and pretty bundled up, Tony. Gugliotta, frozen uh, quiet there out there in the uh, cold. That's how cold it is, right? Police have confirmed that a big cat spotted by residents in East Ayrshire is not a black panther. An expert has been unable to confirm exactly what type of cat triggered a search that involved a police helicopter. It was spotted around quarter to nine this morning. Somebody's making me laugh here. In fields near the B730 between the villages of Drongan and Cole Hall. No, there's a bit of confusion in the gallery. I'm just waiting for instructions here. It had been hoped that the work would. Um, Have you seen another news report? It had been hoped that the work would be completed by last weekend, but progress was delayed. Sorry about this. This is a complete mess. We'll see what happens next. Trees. I'll read this again and work to. I promised drive times, and it's not letting me do it. This darn thing. Oh, I broke it. <laughs> Good job, Shane. I broke it more. I bro <laughs> you break it, you bought, bought it. it. That's all I'm saying. It this is not fine, but I'm okay. Um, <laughs> step away from the board, Shane. Here's the funny part is you folks at home don't know this. Our corporate engineers are in town this week. Oh, So they're about to trouble. run in here and fire me. I think I'm not going to be here after. <laughs> Maybe on Thanksgiving you won't see me anymore. Anyway. Oh. Stop it. I'll have your drive times coming up, I promise. Like you said, you break it, you bought it. Mm -hmm. You're not the shot. Yes. Here we go. You ready? Yeah, right yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. That one right there. And then there was like one that you do something like this. And then my niece <laughs> and nephew were trying to teach me this one. Do it with me, guys. The... Oh, this one. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. So there you have it. Dance moves on a Tuesday morning. Okay, I'm gonna catch up. Like a snake or something. All right, guys, get ready. I feel like we're getting faster instead of slower. 